guys and welcome back. So this video is a little bit different. This is one of our riding sessions where we focus more on schooling. So what we did was we put out four cones to make a relatively small square but with enough room to do circles around each cone. So let's say like a 10 meter kind of circle type thing, maybe a bit bigger. And all I did, you can see, is I'm asking her to go on the outside of the cones, just to start off. And then do a little circle on the inside, and then eventually go around each cone. So that was kind of the plan. As you can guess by my tone of voice, that didn't really happen. But anyway, it was really about getting her to improve her responsiveness get her to turn nicely, get her to listen, and just do something a little bit different than walking around the field and becoming boring or getting complacent. So yeah, just a simple walking to start with, the one way, and then I was like, okay, now we'll do the circles this way. So I give her plenty of space to turn, and the idea is to go one way around the one cone, weave in, and go around the other way. And she's moving quite forwardly. She seems pretty happy, to be fair. And we're just taking it easy, right? But what I didn't realize was because she hasn't really done schooling in a very long time, that although this is a relatively simple exercise, actually all the turning for her was quite tricky. That was it. I gave her plenty of space to make sure it wasn't sharp turns. Didn't want to have any issues and you can see if we need to take the circle a little bit wider that's what we do. Move on to the next cone so again we're now coming on the inside because I also didn't want her to keep turning around the same way so I didn't want like let's say we're riding on one rein. I didn't want everything to be that way. So I wanted her to be able to turn both ways on the one rein, if that makes sense. You can see it anyway. And every time we do well, give her a pat, tell her she's doing good. And already you can see, now she's already starting to get a little bit agitated. But we're working on it, we're figuring it out. You can see she's starting with head shaking. So, it's tricky as a rider because you get used to the fact of what's considered difficult, what's considered easy, and this for me is considered easy. But actually for her, mentally it was really challenging. And I thought having these loops, so you know, change the rain, I thought that would be good, like enough time for her to be able to relax. So then we do the smaller circle on the inside of the cones and she's tolerating it. But you can already see the tension starting to build. So uh, I ask her to stop just to slow it down a little bit actually. Because if you notice the other way I didn't really focus on that, it was all, all about the turning. And then this is where you can see she goes to bite my foot and she's not happy anymore. And this is where she considers that she's had enough. So I'm trying to reassure her that it's fine. You can see I'm nudging her, I'm asking her to go forwards, but she's not really having any of it. I tried to give her a moment, so she just needed to calm down and process something, but it wasn't working that day. So. And we managed to end up with just like walking a couple of strides, but you can see the next time she did the same thing. So I just turned her. And again, it worked. And honestly, I was really grateful because we had so many problems before with getting her to move forwards. So I was glad that turning direction, that worked. So this session, I had a slight change of tactics meaning I wouldn't ask her to do as many circles. So immediately it was more about let's focus on just starting and stopping. 
we also spaced out the cones a little bit more so it's less intense. And you can see this time I'm also not going around the inside. So rather than having a plan, this time it was more just seeing what felt right, seeing what we could accomplish without any stress. And it's good because it's we don't really have access to an arena and just having the cones gives us some kind of place of starting and stopping and enabling us to change rain nicely, focus on turning corners, keeping some kind of structure basically. And what was interesting was I was lunging her before this and actually I got to see how stressed she was just by having some cones to go around the outside. And that was when I realised how much I messed up as her trainer because I didn't give her a chance to get used to functioning this way and actually it was very overwhelming for her. So I work on gentle transitions and you can see she started to walk off before I asked and that's okay, we just say no. I want you to walk when I want you to walk. So that was it, we just took it a lot easier, more focused on keeping things forward moving, not stopping. And actually you notice how much of the basics you need before you can move on. Because as I keep repeating, you know, for me I thought it was easy to do circles. So here I put in a small circle, but then I actually change it into a change of direction. Because I don't want there to be this stress associated with turning. I don't want the cones or flat work to become a negative experience for her. So it's just putting in place some nice easy exercises and you can see these riding sessions are really really short but to her they're a long time so that's it I'm looking where I'm turning trying to give her those subtle cues that she can get used to them give her a big pat let her know that she's doing really well and also it's just kind of about making it fun because it's easy to get like really fixated on we want to turn like this, we want to have an outline like that but actually by not having a plan it was more interesting for me I actually think it was more interesting for her I mean, she tripped because she wasn't really paying attention but see she got a little bit annoyed there but we overcame it so much more quickly and that's what you want. You want to be able to say no, you listen to me as the rider, we carry on. There's no real problem. And then it's nice, you can end the session on a good note. And I was really happy with it that day because, you know, the previous time I was a bit worried, especially because she really wasn't happy, as you could see. But this time, she took it easy and, you know, we built up that partnership and she's standing well she's waiting for me to listen I'm kind of doing different things to balance her out and then you just kind of call it a day the moment that you feel it's right to say okay I'm happy with what we've achieved it doesn't matter how long it is as long as you're happy with what you've done and everything's calm you can leave it at like five minutes anyway I hope you found this video helpful or enjoyed it leave a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe